Hey everyone, my name's Andy and welcome to my art lab. Today we're going to take a look at pouring resin across 3D printed plastic, in this case PLA. Cue the 3D printing montage. Today we're going to do a two for one deal, so we're going to cover this in resin and experiment to see if the resin will stick to this PLA plastic from my uh, 3D printer. Uh, it took quite a while to print uh, these different vases, so we've got this one, this other one here, about four or five hours each. Now each of these were on vase mode, not vase mode, vase mode, uh, which essentially means that it just goes and does one uh, one layer thickness right around and that speeds up the process uh, hugely. Cool, so what we're going to do is we're going to pour our resin and this is going to be our catch tray. So we're going to be able to create hopefully a vase with the same colours as what we're going to create this here. And my hope in this here is that I'm going to use it to wait for it till it's half dry and then shape it as a bowl. So we'll experiment with that and see how we go. This is not the first time I've experimented with putting resin onto 3D prints. Uh, so I've got this here. This is my manta ray. I actually created and sculpted this in a program called Nomad 3D on the iPad. And then I put some resin across it just to see how it sticks. Because of all the contours, it didn't really stick that well. But um, it was a good first attempt and proved that it is possible for resin to stick to PLA plastic. One of the tricky things sometimes is trying to work out how much resin you're going to need. Now there's a little trick and I'll just show you on screen here where I use rice to be able to work out the volume of resin. It's a nice quick way to be able to estimate the resin that you're going to need. Now I added on top of this uh, measurement to allow for some resin for the bars to go over the, the outside of that. Um, but it's, it's a good way to do it. Uh, alternatively there are resin calculators that you can try to work out online um, but I found for me just using a bit of rice to be able to go and calculate that volume of resin needed just makes it a little bit easier and quicker for this process. Alright so I've put the main resin into some warm water and that's made it a little bit more uh, viscous so it flows a bit better and now I'm going to be doing our two to one so this next part of the process is a little bit boring, it takes a while, so mixing, you should be mixing your resin for a good uh, sort of three to four minutes for it to mix in properly. Um, what I do is mix it in my main one, and then I can split that out into different containers, mix them in with the different colouring. So we had the, the white pigment paste, I also had the um, gold mica powder and this blue mica powder. One of the things I've realised with resin is that the colour may look quite dense when it's in the uh, mixing pots, but when you pour it out, it is actually a lot thinner. So it's one of the things that I'm still working on of perfecting and getting that right ratio of colour to resin. Once I completed the resin pour across the 3D printed vase, I was able to lift that off and the resin sort of filled in the gaps that were there. I did have a small number of air bubbles in the silica mould so I was able to just use my uh, torch to be able to just get rid of those. Another method for getting rid of air bubbles you could spray it with some isopropyl alcohol. And now we just have to wait for everything to dry. Okay welcome back. So we've had the resin now curing. Um, unfortunately it was a bit of a disaster and we had a failure. So actually we had two failures. Now the whole purpose of Andy's Art Lab is really just to experiment and see what works and what doesn't and you learn from your failures, right? Just like life, whenever you have an obstacle you need to overcome it and this is the same case here. So what I found, I think there's a few things which uh, went wrong. So one, maybe I didn't put enough colour in there, uh, especially with the white. So the white should have been a pigment paste and it should have been uh, opaque and you know, solid colour. Um, however, it was a little bit translucent and so therefore that didn't come out. The other colours I used which were a gold and a blue mica powders 
they're normally a little bit translucent anyway and unfortunately that sort of didn't have the colour stick in, in show so even though we've got a nice uh, cover of resin across our plastic 3D printed vase it unfortunately does not have any of the colours sticking like I had hoped to see. The second failure was that uh, I thought that the resin was going to be in a semi cured state at about six hours but for some reason it dried a lot quicker this time which meant that it was not um, malleable or wasn't able to to mold it into my uh, bowl here to be able to give it a, a bowl like structure so that was a failure it did half bend which meant now I've got a nice uneven surface of a piece of resin which as you know is probably uh, a few dollars worth of resin there and it's pretty much a chuck away so um, it might be something that I use later on I've seen people break up and chip up pieces of resin and use it as part of decoration in some other artwork so I might hold on to that to do that with this piece anyway so a little bit of a failure on both counts uh, you can't win them all what I might do and I've seen a few videos from Mixed Media Girl here on YouTube she's got an amazing channel been going for a number of years um, she's done the similar thing pour across glass the glass vase and so I might go and have a little bit of experimentation with doing it on glass and seeing if there's any difference but I'll also step up that color just to see if that sticks um, it could also be the resin as well um, I did preheat the resin so it was a lot uh, a lot more runnier and so it could just be that it was just too thin and just dripped right off the base. So anyway, lots of experimentation in Andy's Art Lab. That's what it's all about. And failure is part of that story. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. I'd really love it if you gave my channel a subscribe and hit that uh, thumbs up. It all really, really helps in getting that algorithm to recognize that um, videos have been watched and liked and get it out to a wider audience. Till next time, catch you in Andy's Art Lab.